Consider a solution of 0.05 molar cysteine at pH 2.6. How many milliliters of 1 molar KOH would you need to add to 1 liter of the cysteine solution to raise the pH to 8.0? One of the best ways to approach this kind of problem is to draw a titration curve for the weak acid in question, in this case cysteine. Let's do that here. A simple curve drawn by hand will give us perspective for solving this problem. Cysteine requires three equivalents of base for its titration, as shown here. We can drop vertical dashed lines to indicate the equivalence points, and we can write the predominant forms of cysteine across the top of our plot, as shown. H3A plus is the predominant form on the left side of the titration, and A minus minus is the predominant form at the third equivalence point. We can indicate the pKa values, approximately 2, 8.3, and 9, as shown. And we can add the starting and ending pH values for this problem. This provides real perspective and insight into the solution of the problem. The two orange arrows describe the two parts of the solution of this problem itself. We need to calculate the amount of base to be added to titrate from pH 2.6 to the equivalence point, and then from the equivalence point to pH 8.0. Let's begin. At pH 2.6, the solution contains almost exclusively H3A plus and H2A0. The appropriate Henderson-Hasselbalch equation for the first titration looks like this. Doing the subtraction yields this next equation. The antilog of 0 0.6 is 4, and we can represent this as 4 over 1. Now 4 plus 1 is 5 parts, so we have 4 fifths over 1 fifth, and we can see immediately the relationship of the two forms to each other. If we have 0 0.05 molar cysteine total, then there must be 0 0.04 molar H2A0 and 0 0.01 molar H3A+. The rest of the calculations are easily done in moles of species in the solution. 0 0.04 mole of H2A0 and 0 0.01 mole of H3A+. And then we can see that we need to titrate 0 0.01 mole of H3A+, to H2A0. Zero point one mole divided by 1 mole per liter of KOH equals 0 0.01 liter, or 10 milliliters, of KOH to add to reach the equivalence point. Moving to the second part of the solution, we first realize that at pH 8.0, essentially all of the cysteine is either H2A0 or HA-. Writing the appropriate Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and doing the subtraction, we see that the concentrations of HA- and H2A0 are in a ratio of one-half. As before, this can be written as one-third over two-thirds and we see that the solution contains 0 0.0167 mole of HA- and 0 0.0333 mole of H2A0.
This means that to reach pH 8.0, we must titrate 0.0167 mole of H2A0 to HA minus. So we can write 0.0167 mole divided by 1 mole per liter of KOH and obtain 16.7 milliliters of KOH to be added to the solution. Summing from the two calculations, we have 10 milliliters plus 16.7 milliliters equals 26.7 milliliters of KOH that must be added to the solution to raise the pH from 2.6 to 8.0.